Periodically, PHD releases updates to PHD Virtual Backup that include fixes, new features, and enhancements. Updates are applied by installing a new PHD console and uploading an update file to your deployed VBAs. This upgrade path is not supported from one major version to another, though. When migrating to a new major version, version 5 to 6, for example, you still begin by installing a new console, but you must also deploy new PHD VBAs. When deployed, you can then migrate jobs and settings from your previous version VBAs to the new appliances, as well as point your new VBAs to your existing backup data stores. First, I'll deploy the new PHD console. The console can be installed over the top of an existing version. Next, I'll deploy a new PHD VBA. Note that detailed installation instructions for deploying a VBA for both VMware and Citrix N Server are included in the installation guide and videos. Now that my VBA is ready, I'll open the new console and go to the Tools area. Note that in order for the new VBA to be available in the console, it must have obtained an IP address. Since I have DHCP enabled, my VBA received an address automatically when it started up. If you do not have DHCP, you'll need to assign an address using the Network Settings menu on the Virtual Machine console. Refer to the documentation for additional details. In the Tools area, I'll click Migrate Appliance Settings. I'll select my version 5.4 VBA in the Source drop-down menu and my version 6 VBA in the Target menu. I'm going to migrate all settings, so I'll leave everything selected here. And since I'm also going to migrate the static IP from my 5.4 VBA, I'll select to power off the appliance. Finally, I'll click Migrate. When the settings are migrated, I'm prompted to restart my new VBA. In the configuration area, I can see my general and network settings and my email settings have all been migrated. If I head over to the jobs area, I can see my new VBA now has all of the jobs from my previous appliance. Now that settings are migrated, I'll reuse my existing backup data store so I don't lose any of my backups. Since I was using attached disk storage, I'll need to first detach the virtual disk from the old VBA using the hypervisor client. If I was using Citrix Zen Center, I would use the Storage tab to detach the virtual disk. Next, I'll attach the disk to the new VBA. Now I'll configure the backup storage option within the configuration area of the PHD console. I'll select Attach Disk and click Configure to select the disk I just added. If I was using SIFS or NFS storage, I would simply need to enter the new credentials here. There's no need to detach and add any disks. Now if I head over to the backup catalog, I can see all of my existing backups are available. Now I'm ready to pick up where I left off protecting my environment with the latest version of PHD Virtual Backup. For additional information on PHD Virtual Backup, visit the PHD Virtual website at www.phdvirtual.com